Hey everyone, it's Andreas here and welcome to Crazy Controller. This video is about the new release that is coming out tomorrow, April the 20th, for those amazing kits, Nintendo Labo. Yes, it comes out tomorrow and I thought I'll make this quick video regarding to the different options you have to purchase these kits, what each kit includes and the price of them so it gives you a better idea when you go into the stores this coming week or even tomorrow on launch day uh, so you know what to expect when it comes to these things and I'm really excited even though this is tailored for families and kids I'm a kid at heart and I cannot wait to try Nintendo Labo I can't wait to make I can't wait to play these games using these cardboard pieces that I've personally put together and made and I can't wait to discover what Nintendo has made for all of us by means of these games because I'm sure there's going to be lots of uh, tricks inside this game it's going to be a, a, a huge new area to discover so I am really excited so let's go straight through the details now and see what you can actually expect and buy on Nintendo Labo when it comes out tomorrow so there are three different kits that you can get. There is a Nintendo Labo Variety Kit, there's a Nintendo Labo Robot Kit, which I personally really, really want to get, and then there's a Nintendo Labo Customization Set. So let's go through each one and see what this includes. First, let's begin with the Variety Kit. This will include two RC cars, one fishing rod, one house, one motorbike, and one piano. Now, what does this all mean? Well, let's start with the Toy-Con RC car. What you do is you insert the left and right Joy-Con into your newly built RC car and control its movement using the touchscreen controls on your Nintendo Switch. The HD rumble feature in the Joy-Con controllers will cause vibrations that move the car in the direction you choose. And the materials to construct two RC cars are, of course, included. Uh, which is really cool. The Toy-Con Fishing Rod. This will allow you to construct the fishing rod with an active rotating reel that is attached by string to a cradle holding the Nintendo Switch console. Catch one of many exotic fish shown swimming on the Nintendo Switch screen by casting your fishing rod and unwinding the reel to lower the hook. Once you feel a vibration from the Joy-Con inserted in the reel, you must crank and reel quickly and tug the fishing rod upwards to try and complete the catch, which sounds really fun as well. With the Toy-Con house, by inserting various assembled blocks into openings in the sides and bottom of the house, you can interact, feed, and play games with a cute creature on the front-facing Nintendo Switch screen. Each differently shaped block is detected by the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con inserted on the top of the house. And the Toy-Con motorbike this will allow you to insert each Joy-Con into an assembled set of handlebars to drive a motorbike on the Nintendo Switch screen. Pressing the ignition button starts the engine, twisting the right handle activates the throttle, and leaning your body or turning the handlebars left and right controls the motorbike as well, which is really cool too. So really fun games there, uh, which is uh, really, really cool. Like again, this is something that really hasn't been done before. It's out of the box. Nintendo has done a great job with this uh, idea. And it'll be just really interesting to see the reviews when they come out about uh, this particular concept that they've made for the Nintendo Switch. So as I mentioned, the games that you can uh, play in these are five different Toy-Con projects. Two, it's RC cars, fishing rod, one house, motorbike, and also the piano too, which uh, allows you to play piano. Something that I didn't include as a description, but this will allow you to build a piano and follow the on-screen um, options to play the piano which is really really cool but what about the Nintendo Labo robot kit this is one that I'm personally personally looking forward to well with this here it actually is a huge pack it includes big pieces and small pieces and what this allows you to do is it allows you to create a wearable robot suit 
and insert the left and right Joy-Con into the designated slots on the backpack and visor to assume control of the robot, which is shown on the TV when the Nintendo Switch console is docked. And this will allow you to enjoy a variety of fun gameplay experiences, including robot mode, where you can destroy in-game buildings and UFOs. And robot mode is when you actually switch your visor down and you go into this like really first person view, which is really cool. And you can just be like, in a way, like the Hulk and just smash everything, uh, which is really cool. So this is something that I'm really looking forward to. But then we also have the Nintendo Labo customization set. So with this one here, it actually just comes with stickers, stencil sheets, and tape rolls. It just allows you to customize your Nintendo Labo creations with this handy set of materials, and the possibilities are pretty much endless. We can really see how Nintendo here really, really want families and kids to get together and customize their own Nintendo Labo, which I really, really like. And I like the fact that because it's Nintendo, it's going to be Nintendo themed. So there'll be characters, there'll be facial features of the famous characters like Zelda and uh, Link and Mario and Bowser and Princess Peach and all that, which is awesome because then they can customize their stencil sheets with these uh, stickers, which is really cool. So this all comes out tomorrow, which is awesome. Now, the prices that I'm going to uh, pretty much say are Australian prices, but on the screen, I will also put the American prices so you can compare. So for the Nintendo Labo Variety Kit, it's going to be $99.95. The Nintendo Labo Robot Kit, it's going to be $119.95. And then for the Nintendo Labo Customization Set, it is $14.95. And 95 cents which is quite nice so that doesn't cost too much to customize your Nintendo Lambo so what do you think there's all the details I hope you like this video let me know down in the comments below what you think about Nintendo Lambo are you going to get it have you pre-ordered are you part of a family where your dad or your mom has purchased it and you just can't wait to get home tomorrow and play it let me know down in the comments below thanks for watching this video I hope you liked it remember to like and subscribe to see more video game details we're heading up to e3 very shortly it's only about a month and a half away which is very exciting so it'll be lots of trailer reactions and lots of news relating to the announcements that get shown in about a month and a half time thanks again my name is andreas and until next time as you know keep playing games